And now we got a chest exercise. It's a dumbbell chest press, but we're gonna do it not on a bench, we're gonna do it on a resistor ball. Okay. Set those dumbbells right on your on your on your knees. Pin those elbows nice and tight to the side. Just slowly walk your feet away from the ball. Bring those dumbbells up nice and slow. Walk, walk your feet out. Now you can come out far enough to where, if you're looking straight up at the ceiling, you just start to feel that ball right in the back of your head. If you think your neck's gonna need some support, but a lot of times, depending on how big your ball is, we got a 65 millimeter here. A lot of times if you do that, you're gonna feel like your, your arms sort of hit the resistor ball. So if that's the case, try to back off uh, towards the back a little bit so the ball comes down in your back and then your arms can come down further without being restricted by the resistor ball as long as your neck feels like it's safe. I don't have any problems in my neck area, but if you do, back down a little bit so that your, your head has a little bit of a backrest right there and it's okay if your arms hit the resistor ball. Palms slightly forward towards each other, separate them. Now, engage your, your buns and your hamstrings by making sure that you kick your, your hips up towards the ceiling. Tighten up your internal weight belt in your core. Breathing in. Separate them down, breathing in. Continue to remind yourself to kick your hips up in the air. Engage your buns and your hamstrings. Palms slightly stay facing each other. Don't let those palms totally face the wall in front of you. That way when they face each other a little bit and you separate them, those elbows come down a little bit closer to your body and therefore focus on the chest better and does not irritate the rotator cuff region. Separate them, breathing in. Ah, let that air out. A lot of people make fun of the noises I make. If you don't want to make noises, still let that air out. Bah, as you do the positive point of this technique, as you get fatigued, your hips are going to want to come down. Remind yourself to kick them up nice and high. I'll do two more. Bah, this one's really aerobic. You've got a lot of muscles firing in a lot of different areas. Ah, separate them down nice and slow. If you're really fatigued, you can drop them on the floor if they're made out of rubber. Ideally, you sit up and at the same time, just bring them to your thighs and then drop them down on the floor and set them down at the same time. Don't try to stand up in a fatigued state with the, with the dumbbells in your hand. So there you go, there's a good chest exercise. It's a great one. It's your dumbbell chest press on a resistor ball. All right, here we go. Doc's gonna demonstrate this one now. If you can see him, I don't know, he blends in with the ball. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good starting position. All right, engage the buns and the hamstrings on the back, taking those hips up. Let. All right, separate them. Coming down slow, make sure it right at the bottom. Take a big breath in. And then blow and push. Good. All right, before you come up, take a big breath in first and then blow. Okay, stop, big breath in first, and now blow and push. boy, good. Good job lifting your hips up towards the ceiling. Boy, good. Down, breathing in. Make sure as you let your air out that you make a nice soft paw noise with an open mouth. You don't want to get a hyperventilated type feeling by breathing in and out through tight pursed lips. Pa, make a pa, nice and easy. Let it out soft, Add a boy. Good. All right, here we go. His body language is telling me we got two more good ones. Breathing in. Add a boy, good. Good. Separate them. Bring those elbows in and sit up nice and slow. Excellent. Okay. Got them. Awesome job. I'd like to make a couple points is whenever you work out, there are inherent risks there, obviously. Dumbbells, you're getting fatigued, getting a little wobbly up here. I've never seen anybody, uh, at training 18,000 client hours, I've never seen anybody drop them on them. I've, of course, I'm there, but if you're working on your own and you get a little wobbly and you can't make it up, 
because we do want to try and get the ones that we didn't think we could get. Just, just let them go to the side, keep your elbows in, and just dump them and let them go at the same time. Um, so don't be afraid of the risk because the risk of sitting on your duff at home and not doing anything is much greater. So yeah, so get out there, move around. Just don't, I can understand your concern about the dumbbells over your head, but uh, just stay nice and tight. If you can't get up, just sort of bring the elbows in and push them out to the side and let them go on the floor. No, no problems. Great. How'd it feel, Doc? Felt good. I normally do it on a bench mm -hmm. instead of doing it on the ball, and it's definitely different muscles. So what I think I'm going to do now is alternate between the bench and the ball because it's, it, it's, it's muscle confusion. You don't want to do the same exercise all the time. That's a great idea. It's and totally different workout. It's a little roby because every, your yeah. core and everything, all those muscles are firing. Core, which is, is mostly the biceps, different, different segments of the biceps muscles that was hitting, being hit, fired. And what's nice is uh, a lot of people out there uh, might just have a ball and a few dumbbells. So um, we know that you have those basic tools so we can get innovative and do a lot of things on those. That's right. Go all right, it. go take control. You can do it.